Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am reviewing the Murad Daily Clarifying Peel which looks like this. Murad very generously sent this over as part of PR. In no way am I getting paid to um, review or share my thoughts of this product with you all. If you are new here my name is Nadia and I'm a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any future uploads. Murad describes this as an alcohol-free, multi-action nightly peel that smooths texture, improves the appearance of pores with the use of alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids, and a retinol. You can purchase Mirad's Clarifying Daily Peel at mirad.com, Sephora, Ulta, Germ Store, and Macy's, just to name a few. This retails for $39, and you do get 3.2 ounces, making this $12.18 per ounce. Directions for use. Prior to application, you want to shake this product vigorously. You want to apply this over the skin with a cotton round. I love using uh, the reusable cotton rounds one of you so generously recommended uh, in one of my older videos. So those are the ones that I use. I will be sure to link them down below. I did pick mine up on Amazon. So you want to sweep the product over the skin with a cotton round um, over the face, neck, and chest area. You do not want to rinse this off. If you are concerned with pores, breakouts, and oil production, you may actually want to follow this with the Murad Clarifying Oil-Free Water Gel, which I reviewed for you all a while back. I will be sure to link the video to this review up above in case you missed it, or in case you're looking for an oil-free um, gel-based moisturizer and lean, perhaps, on the combo slash oily side. This by face peel needs to be shaken prior to use as it blends the resurfacing retinol with the glycolic acid and salicylic acids. They all address breakouts and acne. I love that this clarifying peel contains hydrators, skin soothing, and skin restoring ingredients such as jojoba seed oil, glycerin, and aloe flower extract to prevent excessive dryness. Within this antioxidant rich formula, we also see salicylic and glycolic acid. Salicylic acid is an oil loving BHA that exfoliates the skin while penetrating the pore lining and exfoliating the pore. If you're dealing with blackheads, congestion, or breakouts, a salicylic acid-based product should be in your skincare arsenal. Salicylic acid also hydrates and calms the skin. Glycolic acid, on the other hand, is an alpha hydroxy acid that improves the skin's texture, the look of fine lines and wrinkles, and minimizes sun damage. It's also got a smaller molecular size than lactic acid, for example, which can sometimes sensitize some skin types. I began using the Murad Daily Clarifying Peel on 9-11. I applied it to the skin as directed with a reusable cotton round. That is still my favorite method of application for this particular product. I did not experience a tingle then and I have not experienced a tingle now. After application, my skin felt balanced. This did not feel sticky at all. So if stickiness in nighttime skincare products are a deal breaker for you, this product will not disappoint. Because I am in a bit of a drunk elephant kick, I followed it with Proteini and the combo did not pick. Hill. The following morning, I woke up with a natural glow. My skin felt slightly smoother. On 9-14, I repeated the same routine, still no tingle. The following morning, my skin woke up feeling smoother with less congestion and a natural glow throughout. Pores also looked a tad smaller. 
on 916, I noted that my skin did feel a bit dry around 3 p.m. I have normal skin that can suffer from congestion when I am testing highly moisturizing or very emollient products. Sometimes if I use too much moisturizer during the morning, my skin can be a bit more congested than usual. I hardly ever break out and when I do, it is hormonal. I did note that my skin was not peeling or flaking at this time. It just felt a little drier than usual. We should also note that I did avoid the use of tretinoin during this test to keep irritation at bay and my barrier intact. On 9.22, I paired this with the clarifying oil-free water gel as suggested by Murad, and my skin woke up feeling great. Um, skin felt a lot less dry than when I first began to test the um, daily clarifying peel three weeks ago. I definitely prefer pairing this with the clarifying oil-free water gel. Initially, I thought that this would actually make my skin feel a little bit drier, but it did not. I have used a number of products that contain salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and retinol, just not within the same formula, or at least those three combined. What I love about this product is that it combines all three powerful ingredients within one formula without irritating or completely drying out my normal skin. Would I layer all three products from different formulas? Absolutely not. I've used the multi-acid peel by Murad before, so I have used something like this. I think that this product definitely suits my oily skin friends or those currently treating acne and breakouts nicely without overly drying the skin. On my normal skin, I can see myself using this about three times a week during warmer months or just once or twice a week during drier, colder months to keep congestion at bay. If you have thick, oily, acne-prone skin, I think that you can definitely work to condition your skin to nightly use. Overall results have been slightly smoother skin, congestion was minimized, and pores along my forehead here um, looked slightly smaller. When paired with the um, clarifying oil-free water gel, my forehead woke up looking a little bit more luminous and pores were definitely uh, minimized. As I continued to test this product over the three weeks, my skin felt a lot less dry uh, the following days than initially reported. So my skin was, was feeling a little bit better with the salicylic acid thrown into the mix. Due to the um, acid and retinol content, you definitely want to make sure that you wear your SPF after using this, um, you know, on your following day. I did not pair this with oils, but it did work nicely with Proteini and the uh, clarifying oil-free water gel. My favorite way to use this was by um, doing a double cleanse with my uh, Good Molecules Cleansing Balm, my Inky List Cleansing Balm. Uh, Drunk Elephant Sweet Biome, which I recently introduced to the skin, uh, the peel, and the uh, clarifying water gel. I felt like that was the perfect combo on my normal skin while testing this product. I would recommend this to anyone with conditioned oily combo or no normal skin types. If your skin feels tight, dry, itchy, I do recommend that you scale back um, if you are reaching for this nightly. As mentioned previously, twice a week on this normal skin is a happy medium. Uh, with skincare, you have to remember that you know your skin best. You are in control. Um, you know your skin better than I do. And if something is drying your skin out, um, causing it to flake, or feel itchy, you definitely want to minimize use. Seeing as I test products that are meant for oily 
or dry skin, um, I will definitely keep this on rotation so that I use it once or twice a week to help keep congestion at bay. When I reintroduce tretinoin to my skin, I will be sure to update you all in the bottom bar down below and let you all know how uh, my skin, my normal skin does. I will most likely be getting a chemical peel soon, so I do have to avoid the tretinoin for a bit longer. So just keep that in mind in case you use tretinoin and you also have this in your wish list. Also, with all skincare, it is important that you recognize your environment, the season, your stress levels, they all play an important role in how your skin reacts to skincare products. I do have a couple of pros here for you. I love that this includes alpha hydroxy acids and BHAs and a retinol in one formula. This is easy to use and I love this, uh, lazy routine night friendly. All you gotta do is cleanse, tone, peel, and moisturize and you are good to go. Uh, this product is paraben, formaldehyde, phthalate, mineral oil, and sulfate free. And this is also vegan. I also have some cons here as well. This does contain a handful of average and poor ingredients such as witch hazel, sodium hydroxide, and fragrance. Witch hazel can denature proteins that help keep the skin balanced and healthy. Personally, when formulated with other hydrators, I do not mind seeing witch hazel in formulas. Um, it is straight up witch hazel that I do have a problem with. Um, sweet basil can cause damage, but only when ingested, so um, not when applied topically. So if irritation occurs, scale back. I am rating this an 8.5 out of 10. Personally, I think that this product delivered on its claims. I did deduct one point for fragrance and half a point for the handful of poor ingredients here within this formula. Throughout this test, my skin felt smoother, congestion was minimized, and my hormonal breakouts I do not know where they went. Um, I have literally, you know, this is like day two post my monthly and I did not experience one single breakout anywhere. As of today, I have not experienced any irritation, redness, or flaking from using this. Initially, I started three times a week, but now I have scaled back to two. Um, I will be sure to update you all in the bottom bar before this video goes live if anything changes, but do stay tuned for that tretinoin update. It should be coming up in about, I would say three, three to four weeks. Let me know if you will be adding the Murad Daily Clarifying Peel to your cart in the comments down below. So thank you all so much for watching today's video and for spending some time with me today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave, make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any future uploads. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs> if you will be adding the Murad Daily Clear...